<laughs> What's up gamers? Welcome back to Fire Emblem 7. Today, I got, I got a special treat for you gamers, alright? I'm gonna show you how to MLG the end of this level, okay? First you just gotta- where- where am I? Oh, I'm here, okay, cool. Alright gamers, let me show you how it's done. First, you just gotta kind of throw units around. You know, it doesn't really matter. You, you'll figure it out later. Just kind of, you just, just kind of, kind of throw everyone around. It doesn't, you know, who cares about placement? And then, even though you got one more guy to move, you're, you're just gonna end the turn, okay? And you know, y y y y your strongest unit, Hector, he, he can he can hit a 49 because you know he, he's epic. That he's probably drinks a lot of Mountain Dew. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right back into it, and we're gonna take down Mr. Damien. Uh, he's got a he's got a killing edge, which means he's got high crit rate and he's got a sword. Unfortunately, uh, I do not have a lot of land users right now. I have Kent and Florina, but ooh, I do have a horse slayer. But that would kill me if he crits, and I don't want to take that risk yet. What is your res? 13. That's pretty high. Don't really feel like playing with that. So let's go ahead and... First off, what do you have? Steel Lance? I can deal with that. Alright, we're going to have the 1-Elb Wonder. Go ahead and do a little bit of... Let's test this out. See what happens. You're about to die. Scream if you must. I'm okay. God. Son of a... Monkey's uncle. A monkle... A monkle, that's what they're called. A monkey's uncle is a monkle. Look at that, don't put, Look at that wrong, ever. Alright, uh, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. Um... Florina, how would you fare? Not too bad, but again, a crit would kill you. I really don't want that to happen. Um... I mean, I've come, real talk, I've come so far in this game without losing anybody, and I would really like to continue that streak. So, what's my safest course of action? Let's have Raven. Hmm. Let's have Raven bop this guy out. And then, that space will be opened up, so I can have Lucius do nothing, but Canis do a little something. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, uh, goodness, goodness. How much does a javelin do? Fantastic. Alright, Kent, I think I already saw earlier that you would die. Are you at full health? You are, okay. Huh. Oh my god, Hector. Be the man. Hmm. Okay, that, that's fair. 51 and 1 hits out of the 2. That makes sense, I can agree with that. Alright, I'm going to have to take a risk. I'm going to have to put someone in danger. And I think when it comes down to it, 26, 20. Lynn has a high chance of critting. So maybe she'll crit? Oh, God. They should have brought an Oswin. I know I should have brought an Oswin. For some reason, I thought this guy had a killing lance. Well, fingers crossed. Uh. Okay. Phew. Okay. Thank you, Lin. Crowin triumph. You've. One, so I will crow and triumph. <laughs> Got him. All right, all right, all right. Huh? Level you're at fourteen. 
God damn. Ellie Wood, let's get you to do something, please. First, let's get Florina to do some delicious Doritos chip damage. You're gonna hit, but you're fine. Of, oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, there we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Kent. Kalen's Royal Knight. Just missing. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's fine. That's fine, though. Because that was secretly what I've been playing this whole time. So now Elliewood can come in and steal the show. All according to Keikaku. Eh. Alright. Lucius, I don't think you can do a whole lot. Nah, I'm not gonna waste that. You're just a healer. Does anyone need a healing, though? Hollywood? Yeah, I can't reach, so I guess that'll do for now. Mm. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and just have Kanas visit the village. You're a brave soul to come to such a perilous place. Here, you should have this staff. You can use it to make those whose magical resistances are weaker than your own fall asleep for a while. Whether it works or not depends on the skill of the wielder. Oh, yes. So those pirates are bearing down on you. Maybe this staff will help you get away. A sleep staff. That's a good staff. Hot oh, damn. Can I use that? No, not yet. Okay. Well, you're like close to a B. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can get that. First things first, though. Excellent. All right, so I'm not. I don't want to leave those guys. I want to get some more experience, so I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send Lynn and Elliewood over, and Hector, just in case. I mean, we're gonna send everyone down there, but you know, you know how we do. Well, you don't. This is your first episode. This is your first episode. Hello. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. You probably got here because YouTube's algorithm is being completely wonky lately into recommending random videos. Like, I've been getting videos from, like, ten years ago about Nickelodeon. And I'm like, I don't watch, like, Nickelodeon stuff on YouTube. Why are you showing it? It's, like, ten years old. What are you doing? YouTube's just been mad wacky lately. But I say I love you. Alrighty, alrighty. Is it your chance to redeem yourself, one elk will? Very good. Perfecto. Alrighty. Raven. Go ahead and get some EXP from this mad lad. First, I'll give you a little bit of heals. Alright. And make sure I have a little bit of a safety team over here. I'm not going to kill this guy down here. Because if I leave him alive, then I can get him in the next chapter, so not going to waste that. It's really hard doing this series sometimes in the span of like, I really don't want to spoil things of course, but this is also sort of be like my guide for Fire Emblem players, um, because you know I've played this game a gazillion times. So I'm trying not to spoil too much story stuff, but at the same time it's like, Saying that I get him is a spoiler. But man, 
I don't know, it's tough. I hope you guys are enjoying it though, that's really the bottom line. Because all the series is, is me showing off a series that I love. And a game that I love. So, the fact that you guys are still supporting me, super appreciate it. And if you're really, if you're really liking it, and you really want to support more, please subscribe. You know? We've got plenty of new shows coming out. Uh, summer is coming around the corner. And we've got a lot planned for the channel. I'm very excited, so I hope you guys stick around. You know, not just for me, but also for my boy Sam and Devin. Okay, so before we conclude and talk to Big Bad Fargus, I'm going to show you the arena real quick. And maybe I'll train up Raven a little bit because God knows, I think he's the lowest level 8. Oh, Lucius actually. So maybe I'll get Lucius some training too. Maybe one of will. We'll see how I feel. I don't think Hector Ellie would win. We need a whole lot though. Uh, let's heal up Florina. Alright, let's test this out. So here's the arena works. You send in the unit. And he's going to say, hey, welcome to the arena. Would you like to wager 740? And the gold is always different. The higher the gold, uh, the stronger the opponent. Now, when I do the arena, I don't spend over 800. Because over 800, you're probably going to die. And when you die in the arena, you die for real. And it's very dangerous. But if you win, you get experience and you double the gold that you waged. So... It is a very risky, risky tactic, but if used well, it could be very beneficial. Or, if you're playing on an emulator, you can use save states and spam the hell out of that, and then get infinite gold and infinite experience for all your units. I'm not going to do that, even though I am playing on an emulator, because the whole point of the series is to show you this game in its most authentic state. So I'm going to do that. 740? That's enough for me. And if he starts kicking my ass, I can press B to yield. And the fight never ends. They just keep going until someone dies. Alright, he's not doubling me, so that's good to see. Easy peasy. Look at all that experience, man. I don't got money! What's also nice is it doesn't take any uh, weapons. So you can just keep going and going and going. And even more luckily, this place has a vendor. So, like, if I were to start running on the stabs, I can buy more stabs. I just kind of huddle everyone around. Get everyone all nice and cozy. Alright, 680. Perfect. I can whoop this fool. He certainly will do a lot of damage to me, but I'm going to presume that I'm going to double him. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a double. And he's done skis. More money. See, if you don't mind, I'm going to do this a little bit for the episode. Maybe I'll do a little bit off camera as well. I kind of just want to show you how it works. 710, I can handle that. That's a little scary that they put me against a Pegasus Knight. If she doubles me, I'm bailing. Ooh, I'm doubling her and I'm critting her. Good work, Raven. With that level up. Very nice. More money. Who doesn't love money, right? I kind of wish in hindsight I would have took care of Damien and everything before. So then I could do a little arena grinding now and in between episodes. Rather than having it be the beginning of this episode or I guess the middle of this episode. But we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll go for a little bit. I'm not going to 
stay here too long. I at least want some of my units to be at a decent level. Maybe we'll do it for Lucius a bit. I don't plan on using Canis really. But I do like Lucius, so maybe I'll train him a little bit. I at least want to get Raven to level 10. Maybe Lucius to level 8. That's manageable. Alright. 670? Perfect. I can handle that. And I'm going to crit. Game over, fools. Very nice. Sweet. Alright. I'm going to keep, keep on keeping on. 7.30? I can handle that. Oh man, Raven, you're a critting machine right now. That is a lot of damage that you've taken, so I'm gonna back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. Okay, whew. Unfortunately, though, because I did back out, he just took all my money. Which kind of sucks, but rather than take my money than my life. And I don't get any experience from that. But you know what? Priscilla gets some experience. So I'd say it's still a win. Ooh! Fat level up. Alright. Let's keep at it. 680. Candle that. A Bergen? Pfft. Not even a problem. Man, the crowd is going wild right now. Look at those pixels. More money! Six sixty a night. We'll see how much damage I'm doing. Hmm. I'll keep at it for a little bit. Mill we'll crit. Or maybe he'll miss. Nope, not missing. So I'm out. Whew, that was close. I'm gonna mend that because that might be a little too much. We're gonna we gotta need a big blue bubble for that. Alright, Raven, how close do you level 10? Pretty close. I can do one more. Seven forty. Let's see if I can get it cheaper. Seven hundred, that'll do. Again, Wyvern Riders though. Keep putting me against Lance people. I'm not really feeling that. I can handle another turn off of that. Maybe I'll crit. Or maybe I'll miss. No, I'm out again. Man. Hey, I got a weapon level increased. Well, I'm not doing so hot on gold. Let's see if I can do a heal and that'll work. I'm not doing so hot on gold, but... You know, making progress. Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's final heal again. Are you close to a weapon level up? Oh, you already are, B. Excellent. And on the bright side, I've got some units together that I want to see supported, so. I guess it's a win-win. Besides my bank. Well, still winning from the bank. 680? Perfect. Oh my god, they keep putting me into Lance units. Oh my god! Or maybe I'll miss. God damn. You're killing me, Raven. You can get yourself killed, bro. Seven twenty. Still a little much. Don't trust that. Six eighty. I can trust that. Pirate, no problem. This is gonna be it. Ain't nothing but a G thing. All right, all right. Now you're a little more uh, up to speed with everybody else. All right, I'm gonna give Lucius a little bit of love, and then Ellie, well, let's just start moving you up just in case. All right, move out of the way, and uh, Lucius. Have a little bit of fun. No, I'm not doing an 810. 
710? Still kind of risky. I'll give it a shot. Uh, no, I can I can do that. I hit B anyway. Whoops. I panicked. That's fine. How long has the episode been going? Maybe I'll call you in a minute. If this is a bit of a short one, I apologize, but, you know, I didn't want to miss out in the arena, and I know it's a bit of a grindy part in the game, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta Scooby-Doo. And there's a lot of exciting things coming up in this game, so I want to make sure I'm properly leveled, because so far, I haven't even lost anybody, and that's pretty impressive, may I say. Man, you keep giving me these high offers, look at this weak, pale man that I'm sending towards you. This small little Christian soy boy, and you're gonna be like, oh, we'll give you freaking super knights. No. Give me something cheaper. Good God! Alright, I'll handle that. Please double. Oh, you dodge, that works. Alright, well, weapon level increase, that'll do. Sweet. Alright, um... Huh. Do I really want to stay and do more? I can probably handle this. But... Huh. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna save this episode here, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding off camera, and then I'll come back and uh, be a little, a little more properly leveled. How's that sound? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a bit of a slower episode. Uh, story's picking up for sure, so I'm excited for that. I really just wanted to get some arena grinding in. That was my bad on planning my recordings. But I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna talk to Fargus and. Hopefully, set sail toward Dread Isle and figure out the mystery of Elliewood's missing father. So, hope you're excited for that. See you then. Adios.